Another thing that I know a lot of our viewers and our listeners will want answered is, can we be absolutely certain that all of this money or all of this funding is going to the areas that we want it to go to, i.e. Ukrainian defence? Well, that, that is always going to be a concern. And I think, you know, p the, the people who are funneling uh, the weapons, which is primarily the Americans and us, um, will be making sure that they go to the right, the right destinations. But, you know, we, we heard last week that uh, reports that, you know, that potentially some of these weapons have been captured by uh, the Russians. And there was a report that the Russians had sent some British-made weapons, the Enlor anti-tank systems, to Iran. They basically sold them to Iran, so Iran can dismantle them and try and sort of replicate them, which is 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 pretty worrying development. But you know, the 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 people responsible for sending British weaponry and American weaponry and European weaponry to Ukraine will be aware of this. That you know there will be agents uh, in Ukraine trying to funnel these weapons off and. And one assumes that the measures are in place to make sure that doesn't happen. OK, have we left ourselves weak and vulnerable? I mean, are we doing the old classic of desperately trying to fight everybody else's wars, but leaving a gaping hole in our own military and defence? I think there is a risk of that. Um, one of the big concerns we've had in the British military in, in, in recent months is that our stockpiles of weaponry um, have really fallen during the last decade. Basically, we've had a lot of defence cuts. Uh, nobody thought we'd be involved in this kind of state-on-state -state conflict. Um, and so we've allowed our, our stockpiles of missiles and rockets and shells to, to run down. So, you know, as a matter of urgency, we've got to build them up again. And as I said, I think the fact that, you know, we are now involved uh, supplying Ukraine militarily is a wake-up call and has basically forced Whitehall to look at our own supply lines and make sure that we have proper stocks available if, if, we, if we need to get involved ourselves in any okay. future conflict.